yogis, Carleen Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a super warrior flow. So we'll do a flow with all of our warrior poses in it. To start, we'll come into an easy seat. You can join me, I'm sitting kind of on my feet here, uh, on my knees. If that's comfortable for you, feel free to do that or you can just find a comfortable seat on the mat and we'll start to warm up with our Mula Bandha breath before getting into our warrior positions. So think about inhaling here in a 360 direction um, kind of like, almost like you're trying to fill a bowl, maybe like you're sitting in a bowl at the base of your belly and you're inhaling wide, filling that space with air and exhale, squeezing that air in and up as you exhale through your nose. That'll activate our deep core muscles, our deep core line, um, start bu building heat from the inside out. So getting that core strength from the inside out as well. As you exhale, through that, through the nose, we'll have that ujjayi, victorious breath. We're unleashing our inner warrior here already just by using the Mula Bandha breath. Now we can start adding some movement of our spine with this breath. So take your arms here in uh, cactus or goddess arms, about 90 degree angle. Inhale as you tiny back bend and exhale, round through your shoulders, bringing your arms in front of you. Inhale, if it feels better, you can even extend your arms and reach long with your fingertips. Either variation though, remember to Mini back bend as you inhale, still using your mula bandha breath as you exhale, rounding out your upper back here. Last one. Now, uh, if you're on your knees, it's pretty easy to transition just onto your toes, tucking your toes under. Otherwise, come from your seated position. We're kind of sitting um, on our heels almost. And just start rocking onto your toes and back down more onto your heels. Showing the our feet, the bottoms of our feet, some love. We ground into the mat, of course, a lot with them when we're doing our standing positions like our warrior poses. So it's good to stretch them out, and give them some attention as well. Here, making your way onto all fours. So strong fingertips, strong palms. Come to hands and knees. We'll take our cat cow. So a deeper arch and rounding of the spine in this position. Remembering to use our Mula Bandha breath. And then take a yogi's choice moment. Our spine moves in several directions, not just the arching and rounding like we've been doing. So start moving it from side to side. You can even do some rotations, finding some twists, some variations, moving back and forth. It's the Yogi's Choice a little dance movement here with your spine, finding any areas of tension that you want to open, that you want to stretch. And then wherever you are, come back to settle in the center. Strong fingertips, strong palms, tuck your toes. As you lift your knees, come to a hover. Hold this strong position, really lifting in and up through your deep core. And then exhale, press back to your downward dog, pedal out your feet. Take a moment to stretch and warm up the backs of your legs. And then wave your spine long, creating space for your neck and shoulders and settle into your downward facing dog. Reactivating the Mula Bandha breath just in case it went anywhere while we were having our little spinal dance. So 
from here, bending knees and elbows. Wave yourself forward into plank. Come onto your knees. We're gonna do a little something different with this vinyasa. So come all the way to the mat, onto your belly, and reach your arms out long in front of you. We're gonna take Superman pose here before finishing our vinyasa. So fingertips and toes are reaching long. Inhale, prepare long spine, extending through the crown of your head. You're going to think about, you are going to lift your arms and your legs. You're going to really think about lifting in and up through your deep core. So the front of your low um, spine is lifting up away from the mat as you lift your arms. So it's not just uh, lifting our arms and legs, you're really lifting up your core off the mat or with your core, getting deep into your spine strength back to the mat, lift up, our superman like we're flying, one last time, and exhale, great right next now from here, fingertips plant firmly beneath your shoulders, wave your spine long again, prepare, inhale, roll yourself in and up, and exhale, finish your vinyasa, back to downward facing dog. Awesome, now from here we'll start getting into our warrior position. So slight bend in your knees and elbows to lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, really deep bend in your knees and elbows. Now create space to step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine, really ground into the mat with your feet. Lift yourself in and up to a high lunge. Now from here, we're gonna come into warrior one. So for warrior one, you wanna just ground your foot naturally on the earth, your toes and knees are facing in a little, and your hips are kind of uh, towards the corner of your mat. We don't wanna think about twisting our hips all the way forward to torque our knee, and they're not quite open yet because we're not in warrior two. So settling into this position where our shoulders, well, our sh hips, are more in line with the corner of our mat, knees are in line with that, and then shoulders are gonna twist forward. So we're using our core to twist just our upper body forward, coming into warrior one, and from here again, inhale, little mini back bend, exhale, fists will come to um, waist, chest, for fists of fire. So we'll arch and round. Last one here. This time you're gonna inhale, reach up. Exhale, fly your hands behind you. So take just a moment to pause here. Interlace your fingers behind your back, starting with bent elbows. Extend your shoulders long, roll them back, reaching long through your knuckles. And then exhale to slightly fold forward to your inner leg. You don't have to fold really deep. You can if that feels good for you, but taking a moment to hold this humble warrior. And wherever you are, gently release your hands. Walk yourself to the center of your mat for a moment. Pick up your left foot for a second and find a more parallel position that's still comfortable for your foot and your knee. You're going to bend both knees to prepare lift in and up. We have hips and shoulders stacked, and now we're coming into warrior two. Awesome, now we're here for warrior two. This is where our hips are open to the side. Again, we want hips and shoulders stacked, so you're not leaning one way and the other. We still want a comfortable position for our um, feet and knees, and then arms extend long. We'll take a flying warrior here, so inhale, extend everything up. Exhale, pressing out through your palms for your fierce mudra back to warrior two. Inhale. And the last one here. Building lots of strength in our warrior poses. Left hand now drops to your left leg. Slight bend in the back knee as you roll your arm and shoulder open behind you. Come into your reverse or peaceful warrior. and cartwheel your hands to the mat 
strong fingertips, steps you back to downward facing dog. Take a moment to lift the right leg, open the hips to the right and drop the foot behind you. Stretching into the front of your leg and so as. And exhale. Now trying that on the other side. So slight bend in your knees and elbows. Left leg lifts to the sky. Create lots of space as you step your left foot to your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bending your back knee. So the grounding into the mat as you roll yourself in and up to your high lunge. Now again from here, grounding the back foot naturally at an angle so hip or toes and knees are aligned, hips are also facing at an angle and then use your core strength to twist your shoulders and your core towards the front of the mat. Inhale, mini back bend and exhale, fist of fire rounding out your spine. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale, inhale last time, this time you're going to inhale and fly yourself slightly forward, fingertips reach along behind you, interlace fingers behind your back, you can even switch which fingers are on top, start with bent elbows as you do that, reach long through your knuckles, wave the spine long and just start to lean yourself forward to your humble warrior. You can find anywhere in the spectrum. You can be up here, somewhere in the middle, folding inside your leg. As long as you are getting a stretch and a workout, wherever you want to hang out today in your humble warrior is where you should hang out. Gently release your fingertips now, coming to the mat, but walking to center. Open up your back foot and knee for a moment. Bend both knees as you start to roll yourself in and up. Hips and shoulders stack and then you extend and press into your warrior two. So again, check your back foot. Make sure that toes and knees are comfortably in line, that your hips are open now, fully open, and shoulders, spine and shoulders are stacked on top. Bending towards the 90 degree angle on that front leg. And inhale, reach everything up, big stretch. Exhale, pressing out through your palms to your fierce warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Now right arm drops this time. Slight bend, create some space as you roll your arm behind you, really opening that side body into your reverse warrior. Remembering to settle into that front knee still. And exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat, steps you back to down dog. Very nice, left leg lifts and opens to the side and just drop that foot behind you. Getting a stretch on the front side body. Back to center to your downward facing dog. Now we'll move all of that energy through our spine. So bending knees and elbows, wave yourself forward to plank, lower all the way to the mat. We're gonna do our Superman again. So fingertips reach long in front of you. Inhale here, prepare and lift. Fly like your Superman. Exhale. Lift up, exhale, and last one, coming into our Superman or Supergirl if you prefer, getting some flight, building our strength, and exhale, very nice, hands plant beneath shoulders, spine waves long, roll in and up, and exhale. Back to downward facing dog. Now from here, walk your feet towards your hands. Start with bent knees, wave the spine along, and exhale, coming into a forward fold. Wave back and forth. 
that feels good, and start to bend one knee and then the other. Now we do have one more warrior challenge that we're going to take on. So from here, fingertips are planting in front of you. Bend both knees, really ground into the mat with your right foot, and think about lifting up from the arch of your right foot all the way in and up from your leg to your deep core. And you're going to press away from the mat and lift as the left knee comes into the chest. Now from here, you can stay here if you want to come into your warrior three or lift away from the mat more, bringing your hands to heart center, finding that strength and that balance, lifting into your warrior three as your left leg extends, pressing into the air with your left foot, holding warrior three, challenging your balance, lifting in and up through all that deep core strength, and exhale, making your way back to center, starting with that bent knee forward fold, and coming to that edge of stretch. Again, you can even pedal out the legs and notice the difference from one side to the other. So we'll even it out. So bending both knees again here, fingertips plant firmly in front of you, really lifting in and up, grounding into the mat with your left foot, lifting in and up all of your deep core strength on the left side and right leg lifts almost effortlessly into your core. Spine waves long, hips are aligned, so we start with that alignment and then you can extend the right leg here, keeping your fingertips on the mat for your warrior three balance or lifting up more, lifting the deep core in and up, front of the low uh, belly, front of the low spine lifts in and up Coming into your balanced warrior three. Keep, try keeping your balance. If you waver, it's totally fine. Holding it for another breath. Then exhale, try and control the movement back to the mat, back to your forward fold. Very nice way to take on that super challenge there. And pedal out your feet again, stretching one leg straighter than the other, even twisting to that side, starting to stretch out the hips that we worked in our balance. Come back to your forward fold. Now lift onto your toes, sit onto your heels, coming full circle, getting a stretch in our feet again. You can do that rocking motion if you thought that felt good. And then wherever you are, making your way onto the mat, we're going to come to our final resting pose. You can plant your feet in windshield wiper of the legs. It's a great reset for your spine. Great massage for your asana. You can also open your feet a little wider and kind of do a reverse wiper. So one knee drops in, then the other. I find that can be a good stretch as well. And of course, Yogi's Choice, take this time to stretch out any muscles where you're feeling tension, anything that you want to work out before coming into your resting here Shavasana. And when you're ready, extend your legs long. Sink into the mat, settle into your resting pose. And give yourself a mental pat on the back for trying that super warrior challenge. Take all of that super strength with you for the rest of the day. Hopefully you enjoyed that flow and you are feeling that strength. Take a couple of minutes to let it settle into your body and take this new strength with you through whatever you have going for the rest of the day. I do look forward to seeing you on the mat again soon, of course, so make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. You'll get notifications with the new videos, and make sure you are on the League of Nerdy Obese email list. I have a link for you below, so check it out there. Namaste.